Okay, in this video, let's take a look at the golf swing of Minji Lee. Australian player, got her first major win at the Evian. She played great, good playoff win. So let's take a look here in a second. Before we do, just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. So let's take a look. So setup wise, hands may be sitting slightly lower than some players. Shaft a little bit lower, which leads to a little more of a, a handsier, wristy, wristy takeaway. But an amazing pivot motion. We'll see that more from the front, but from this angle, we'll see what happens to get that club face in a great position. So like we said, gets the club going a little more toe up here than some players. A little more of a sort of what we call a cupped wrist at this point. And then at the top, inside the green circle, we will see that change. So a neutral position at the top, and then because the sequence is just so easy to see with her, her great pivot motion, we can see the left knee and the left hip really getting out of there. And as they get out of there and start turning to the left, just watch the belt buckle move, left knee moves, and that wrist goes from neutral to almost slightly cupped in some videos to bowing with that pull coming from the left side. So certainly a left side dominant player but that's how that face starts to get into a square position. So now she's bringing it down here. Club face looking more at the camera. That's really different and perfect for just smashing a straight ball down the fairway. She can be a big time rotator at this point because the face is already square. Wrist bowing very early. And sequentially, like I said, she's got the hips turning and now she can really push hard through the right foot to create the force and power through the hitting zone. Mentioned the pivot motion itself, how good it is. Great set of position. Spine tilt perfectly, just a little bit away from the target. And like we said, a little more of a hands type takeaway, a little wristier than some players on tour. Get that club head moving. And more toe up here than some players. You'd think the face would be open coming down, but like we saw in the last clip, she's going to change that at the top. Great width, incredible extension going away. And look how the hips, there's just no slide of the hips. And when I'm teaching players, I really try to make sure on the backswing, you can try to turn without swaying your hips into that back foot. There might be a pressure change in the ground, but you don't want to see the hips changing position. So for her, that perfect pivot right there, that's exactly what I would want to see a player try to do. Spine tilt still holding away from the target. And now look at the sequence as that club reaches, reaches the top here. Watch the hips start to go. And so that movement of the left side, left knee, left hip, left side of the core, just pulling and turning to the left. And that lets the arms just sit up there and stay, stay suspended for a brief second. Now we have that bowed position coming down. Very easy to keep it bowed when you're pulling from the body and not from the arms. Face looking more closed now. Now it's just rotate, rotate, push hard through the right foot for power. And there's that awesome impact position. And a unique finish in her case where it just has a slightly different look to it. The hips really put the brakes on big time to whip the club through and then the upper body chases. If we go close up version, just to take a look at the pivot, I know a lot of players that I coach they don't really have the sense of how to turn properly. If you look at this video, it looks as though she's keeping her left hip actually pushed forward toward the target and allowing the right hip to disappear back around away from the camera. And that to me is a correct pivot. And then as she comes down, then she can reverse that. Here the arms are still going up slightly as the lower body starts to pull. And that creates that seamless transition move where the arms are not pulling on their own they're being pulled down. And to me, that's just how it's supposed to work for consistency. And now you can see that bowing of the wrist. And look at that coming in impact there, hands leading. Perfect positions with the hands, body, spine. Incredible stability through impact. And no wonder she's one of the best young players on the tour. Taking a look at sequence from a down the line view here, we can really see as that club goes up. 
you can just see how the pull and the twist of the left side as it twists around pulls that left arm in, down bowing the left wrist like I said then there's a perfect sequence so you're clearing and staying in posture but then use the hip for power use the push into the ground for power awesome control one last clip of the swing here to look at from the final round of the avion once again you don't have to have this crazy angular posture that we taught for years you have a, a relaxed looking posture standing tall and comfortable without all that knee flex we used to teach club up the plane beautifully and once again if you're struggling with trying to figure out how to come down study this golf swing this is how you do it this is how you use the legs and the lower body to then pull the arms into position super controlled swing amazing balance once again if you struggle with with sequence or understanding how to create a backswing that makes the downswing a piece of cake just study Minji Lee she does it amazingly well finally for this video you have to look at the putting because she is just putting so well just to highlight another player on tour with a left hand low shaft and forearms in perfect alignment eyes directly over the ball but the left hand low is really taking hold it's just amazing how you can keep that handle moving toward the target through the hitting zone and keep the face square with the left hand low if you do struggle with putting i highly recommend this for technique of course you have to work on routine and keeping a lot of things you know keeping your eyes still and doing some other things well to keep that putter on plane but the left hand low is a great way to learn it if nothing else use it for a drill and that will help you get that putter working solid through impact and get that ball online well that'll wrap it up for this video thank you so much for watching and once again just a quick reminder if it is your first time to the channel please hit that subscribe button and if you like the video hit the like button as well and we'll see you in the next one